This quiet zone project has been years in the making for downtown Bryan. And while some people say that this construction will bring some peace and quiet, others say that that whistle is part of tradition in the city. Between working at a downtown barbershop and living in downtown Bryan, Tyler Mallet is used to the sound of the train. The train does not bother me in the slightest. No? Not in the slightest. Do you notice it? Um, I notice it while I'm awake. In fact, Mallet says he may even miss it. Since downtown has history and it has um, all the culture and stuff, you know, the train was here before I moved in. The city has finally been approved about $650,000 to begin construction, which would make it easier for train conductors to pass through crossings without sounding their whistle. It will be train noise because a locomotive makes, makes noise as it travels down the tracks, but the whistles themselves uh, will not be uh, sounded unless the engineer sees a, a threat. Some downtown Bryan visitors can see how the whistle disrupts businesses and residents. It can be really a nuisance because you're conducting maybe interviews or conducting meetings of, of importance and you have to pause and wait for the train to pass. It just randomly comes and you never know when it's coming. You could be in the middle of a sleep, yeah. you know, and you're awakened by the sound, or your baby right. is awakened by the sound, and you just put the baby to bed. The city first began putting wheels in motion for this project about five years ago, but experienced a two-year delay waiting for a final approval. While the construction may be noisy, it won't be as loud as the train's whistle. The first phase of construction is expected to start before the end of July and will go on till about November. In Brian, Rachel Espayat, KRHD News.